Hello, my name is Zane Assad, and today I'm going to be doing a review on this Newer 660 LED light. A few months ago, Newer sent me two of these lights to review, which is awesome. Thanks, Newer. They're actually pretty good lights. I actually ended up purchasing two more of these lights, so I have a total of four lights. So I'm using one right now, and it's actually standing three feet away from me as like a fill light. Here, let me turn it up. So yeah, now I'm now it's like all the way on brightness. I do have a light in front of me, but that's about four and a half feet away, and I'm just using that as just like a, a camera light. And then I have two of these light bulbs that are kind of like on the side. I've been using these uh, for about. I would say two months now. They're actually pretty good. Uh, there is an upgraded version of these lights and that actually just has like a, a, an LCD on the back so I could just tell you how much Kelvin and how much power input you're doing. I got two of them for $65 each so it's, uh, it came out to like 130 I think for both of them but it came with stands and stuff like that. They do come in like red, blue, or black. They do have two battery inputs that take the NP550. This is the model. Uh, NL660. It is a bicolor light and it goes from 3200 to 5600 Kelvin. The light itself is pretty durable. It's It has like this metal frame on it which is really really cool actually and it makes it look super professional for how cheap it is too. And it does have barn doors which is pretty cool so you could help control the light. These things are pretty bright so that's actually the light by itself. It is kind of dark but I do have the ISO on 400 the f-stops at 4.5 and the uh, aperture at 80 I believe. As you can tell it gives it that really like moody feel. It's just one light that I have that's on me right now. It's all the way up on 5600 Kelvin right now. It's only on the white light so uh, with both of the lights if you want to check them out these are both of the lights on the yellow and white LEDs. So that's how bright it is right there and it does have sustainable they actually use so it's 333 white and then 333 yellow beads and it's actually pretty good right now there is a diffuser on it it does come with a diffuser uh, I never usually take it off unless like I really need it but like as you can see it's actually like like you can see the shadows and stuff like my shadow across my face right here it's actually pretty good though like if I were to like go like this but yeah uh, I really recommend these lights thank you so much newer for sending me these. The portability of these lights are actually pretty good. You could take them around. You could put batteries on them. Right now I have it hooked up to the uh, wall plug. But yeah, you could check them out. The link is in the description. I actually used these lights before to review another LED light uh, sent to me by um, GVM. And you could check out that link like right here. Or, like, I think it's like right here. I have done photography with these lights and stuff like that and they're actually pretty good lights to do photography for. These replaced my soft boxes now and um, yeah because I had two, four, five soft boxes set up and I would need to turn them all on in order to get them but then again I did have these soft boxes for about six or seven years and I never replaced the bulbs so the bulbs were getting um, dimmer and they were getting they weren't so powerful. Uh, the kit that I got, it did come with two stands. The stands itself are the pla like plastic aluminum stands. They're like bas pretty basic stands and stuff, but they are actually pretty more heavy duty than other stands I've had. They did come with the power supply. They also came in this like super cool looking bag actually. They are actually perfect. You could just like throw them in the trunk or something. I do have them in a, in a case. I hope you guys enjoyed this review.